Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to implement US art serial communication reception using interrupt method. Let's get started. So in the previous video we just uh, wrote this particular program for receiving a byte of data that is being transmitted in the UART TX pin. And this process of receiving the data inside the while of 1 by continuously checking whether the data is received right over here is called polling method. Since we are continuously checking whether any data is received in the Rx buffer and we are loading that particular data onto the variable called data and further we are checking the emptiness of Tx buffer and we are loading the same data that we received in the Rx pin of US or serial bus to the Tx pin of serial bus. So the programming logic is very very simple whatever the data that we are giving in the serial monitor which is connected to the UART pin of uh, microcontroller will be reflected back to the serial monitor from the microcontroller. So this is the logic. So we are doing this in a polling method since we wrote all these lines inside the while of one right over here that is the infinite loop of the program and there is another efficient method called interrupt method which will use an isr function that is interrupt subroutine function or interrupt service routine function for receiving the data only whenever a data is received so in the interrupt method we will be having a usr interrupt function and inside that function we will be writing all these lines that is the same process and this particular interrupt function or interrupt service routine function or interrupt subroutine function will be called only once whenever a particular data is received in the UART bus. So in polling method, we will be continuously checking whether a data is received in the while of 1 and in the interrupt method, we will be writing all the logic that we want to write inside a interrupt subroutine function so that whenever a particular interrupt is triggered to the processor, this particular interrupt service routine function will be executed once. So this is the difference between interrupt method and polling method and interrupt method is efficient method because we will not be continuously looping towards or checking whether a particular data is received and we will not be holding the program flow for this particular process and only whenever a particular data is received the interrupt will be triggered to the processor and the processor will be executing this particular interrupt function only once. So this is a more efficient way of handling UART reception that is interrupt method and we just want to enable the interrupt method by enabling a particular bit in CR1 register of USR2. So we just want to enable the RX interrupt. So this rx interrupt will be triggered whenever a particular data is received in the UART bus. I am just opening the user manual and in the CR1 register we are having this particular rxne ie which is nothing but rxne interrupt enable. So whenever you make this particular bit number 5 in this CR1 register to be high the USR2 interrupt will be enabled. So I am just going to set this particular bit. Rx interrupt enable. That's it. And further in the microcontroller side we just enable the rx interrupt and further we just want to enable the same interrupt in the nvic controller of the ARM processor. So for handling the nvic controller this particular Keel Microvision IDE is providing us with a nvic API. NVIC 
enable IRQ and inside this IRQ just pass the USR to IRQ. So when you execute this particular line that is NVIC enable IRQ with the parameter of USR to IRQ one number the interrupt for USR to is enabled in NVIC controller. That's it. So this is what we want to do for enabling the interrupt method in Rx of USR2. So now as the final step, we just want to find the respective handler or interrupt subroutine function or interrupt service routine function name for the USR2. So for doing that, just click on the plus icon near the device and double click on this startup file. And here just type in USR2. And you can see these are the interrupts available in this particular microcontroller. So these are the handlers for interrupts for this particular microcontroller. And you can choose whatever interrupt that you want and you can implement the interrupt method in various peripherals of the microcontroller. And in our case, this is the name USR2 IRQ handler. Copy this. So this is a shortcut for finding the interrupt handler name. So the interrupt handler must be provided with the same name as per the startup file right over here else this will not work. So I am just copying this and I am going to paste it right over here. So we just successfully implemented the USR2 IRQ handler and inside the IRQ handler we just wait for the data, pass on the data and move on. Now I am just saving this, compiling the sketch, compiling the program. You can see the compilation is successful with zero errors and zero warnings. Now I'm just going to dump the flash. Now I'm just clicking on the play button and I'm resetting the nuclear development board. Now as per my logic, whenever I pass the data from the serial monitor to the UART uh, pin of the microcontroller, the same data must be reflected back. You can see the yes is reflected back. The blue color data is the data that we are sending and the red color data is the data that is reflected back from the PC US microcontroller USB port. USR to port. So the program is working fine in interrupt method. So I hope you learned something new in this video and how to configure the USR of STM32 F4 series microcontroller in uh, interrupt mode in this particular video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.